Here is Jim Bohannon, an up-and-coming talk star who someday you'll have heard of. He's the referee. The referee! And he's here to maintain order and to keep the host, the moderator, in check because he might be biased. But we don't know, so he's got a whistle. The one and the only, one of the great talk show hosts of radio and television, my dear friend, Alan Combs. Well, Hannah's already got all my affiliates, so I don't know why. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh, welcome. By the way, we have 0.98% uh, of every conservative talk show host in the country here, and 98% of every liberal talk show host. <laughs> I didn't even get you laid, so you can stop it. That's healthcare. Now, if I said that to you, Randy. That's healthcare. You can believe it. That's healthcare. Here's what I'm going to do. I want to bring up. I want to bring up. Randy's already been laid today. I want to bring up somebody who's seen At least she didn't say she wants to take me in a boat and shoot me. That's that's a, a step up for you, Randy. She did. Well, how can we be so talk about a serious subject up here, and then all of a sudden we bounce off onto something frivolous? Let me, let me, everybody in this room, yeah, yeah, know. everybody in this room knows this, but let, let me state it for the record. We're not here to change the world. We have one job to do when we're on the radio. To attract listeners so we can play commercials for them. Okay? Yeah. To do that, we have to be entertaining. And that means that we don't hammer, hammer, hammer issues to the point that people say, my God, I can't stand this anymore. We mix it up. We have some fun, we get serious. We play commercials. We bring them back. We have some more fun, and we get serious again. If we're serious every minute that we're on the air, then we're talking to our board operator and our phone screener, and that's it. Let's get some love. But while we're entertaining and informative and attracting audience and playing commercials, we're also allowing a dialogue and a debate to go on, which you're witnessing here today, which is not going on in any other media. We are where America is debating this issue, on talk radio. Now, there are some people on talk radio, I'm afraid, that are not in the spirit of this debate. We're not debating anything debate. in talk radio. We're, we're, we're not debating anything in talk radio. We're, the we're people the same, come on our... Now, the same stupid stuff is being repeated on talk radio that's being repeated in television. Uh, if we're doing our job, we're entertaining people. But to get on the radio and hear 90 million guys say the same thing every day, which is basically this, Obama's a socialist, Obama's a Nazi, the da 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 boom, 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 boom. And, and a hucksterism, man. It's snake oil salesmen. That's all it is. And what's wrong about that? You know, uh, Bill, I tell you, we could all be our own uh, call-in and, and, uh, and guest as well, but... You know, the fact is that you're not, <laughs> you know, you ought to try it, you know, you ought to try it, you know, we can dial on to ourselves, you know, for schizophrenic enough, but frankly, here's the, much rather than you talking about some of the stuff guys, I want to ask a question, guys, those who have not commented on this, I'd like to get in on this issue of talk radio, Randy. You want to comment on this? Then well, I'll get, you we're going to wrap it up with everybody. Talk radio is supposed to be fun, and it's supposed to be an exchange between you and the audience. And, you know, they're supposed to, it's very intimate. It's the last intimate form of communication. <laughs> you know, you don't listen to talk radio when you have kids in the car. You don't listen to talk radio with your friends in the car. You listen to music. But when you're alone in the car, or you're alone at the computer, that's, and hopefully with me, you're touching yourself. That's good. <laughs> and uh, I will be selling laminated photos out there, so can you use them over and over again? G. Gordon, I know, would want one. But I, I want to pat you down first. Uh, but Target is supposed to be fun, there's no doubt about it. And what we're up against is, you know, us as entertainers, with a different point of view, we're up against this unbelievable... You know, shrill, hectoring, day after day, talking points, endless, 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 endless. And so what we get are callers like her who wants to, you know, you, you get on a roll, you have some fun, you go to a call and, and you get, you know, Aww, this woman with no question radio host. who Aww, feels like, you know, fun. She, her whole this life is, is going to come to a well, screeching What do you do for this? 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 Uh, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sometimes. No. I love it. I think our job is to be out there to inform people, to give them a chance to talk about the issues, debate about the issues. I don't care what crazy things they say. And yes, to be fun and entertaining. And if you're not, they're not going to come back. Uh, we didn't what we do is we entertain and we make money. 
Everything else is secondary. We're not a political venue. We can be, but that's not our only goal. I agree with uh, my namesake, Alec, absolutely. The first goal of a radio period is entertainment. If you don't do that, you don't keep people around, you don't sell the ads and everything else, none of us are here. And if you think that, we're just going to be there pounding it to, to be able to talk about issues and nothing else at all. You're absolutely mistaken. Those are the people like Air America that go off the air. You've got to be able to be entertaining for yeah. more of those. Bill Hader, you've ever considered yeah. entertainment for your yeah. Air America went off the air, and a whole lot of conservative hosts go off the air, too. Is this thing on? No, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you have to be able, you got to be professional. I like pros. I like people who have been around. I like people who know how to use the medium. Uh, we. This is not changing the world here. And, and there's just, you know, I'm so sorry that we've got the idea somehow that we are we're guiding the debate in America. Uh, this debate in America has been one of the most ignorant I've ever heard. I haven't heard any facts. I've heard a lot of horse dung. Uh, I'd rather get on the radio and do my fake voices and uh, own my business and do for 60, 70 grand a month. Huh. And I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that. Hey, Steve, what's more look, important, message or uh, look, entertainment? It goes without, I don't think you're asking what's the goal of talk radio. None of us would be here if we didn't have ratings and our com companies couldn't sell spots and make money off our shows. That goes without saying. There is no such thing as what talk radio is supposed to be. You are who you are, and your fans value you for who you are. They tune in for who you are. You can't say, oh, I'm supposed to be this, or I'm supposed to have fun. Or, I'm, and you know what? If you're missing the fact that we are headed to the most important election of our time in November, and you're not capitalizing on it, maybe your audience just wants to have fun. We have fun, but my audience knows that we're the fight of our lives. And that's what's driving my ratings through the roof, okay? Go, Talk Radio is not go. supposed to be anything. Go, Steve. Go, Go, I mean, so Talk Radio is supposed to do, I mean, there's a couple of things you got to do. I mean, I'm a local guy. I got to give the time. I got to give the weather. You know, you got to break when the commercial comes up. There's a couple of things you need to do. If you have an audience that's broad and that you're not, you know, engaged in some kind of political crusade, then, um, you know, you're going to talk to them a little bit differently. I understand a political crusade. If you want to do that, you, you, you can, but th there are some consequences because there's, there is a certain amount of integrity that gets lost, frankly. When I hear people going on and on about this apocalyptic stuff that does not exist, I mean, like... If you, the, those on the panel or anywhere else who say that this is the most important election, our way of life is being changed and all of this kind of stuff, when you are wrong, right, when a couple of weeks from now when it's pretty clear that you were completely wrong about it, that you lied to your audience, <laughs> that you, you put a, a lot of, of fake emotion into Nobody's it. Nobody's saying is anybody, are, are, you, are, you, are you going to come to them and say, you know what, I was completely no, wrong. No, because nobody is saying uh, that uh, it's going to change the day the bill is passed. You're being inaccurate uh, and more disingenuous. Uh, if in <laughs> years to come, it, it does turn out that this middle class entitlement is apocalyptic, however, no, is that how you say it? Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. Uh, if it turns out that we were right, then he'll blame it on George Bush. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, I'll be in the gulag, yeah. drinking the Kool-Aid with the LSD in it. We won't even know. So, <laughs> Tom, go ahead. But well, you should it's, apologize it's, if you're wrong. It, it's been a pleasure to be on this on, on the Stephen Friends panel here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Roger, can I uh, paraphrase the, our conversation earlier? Do yeah. you mind? I have your permission. Go ahead. Roger and I were sitting out in the hall talking, and, and he said, uh, you know, as a conservative, I'm a, little, I'm a little concerned that Michael Savage's tone is is uh, maybe uh, too intense and, and, and hurting uh, conservative talk radio. And I said, i got to tell you, I listen to Michael Savage every afternoon when I'm driving home. I listen to Randy Rhodes, and I listen to Michael Savage. That's the, the order of my... And, and yeah, I really do. And I think he does good radio. And, and, and then we got into this conversation about, you know, what's the purpose of radio? And it became... And, and I think that that's, that's an essential debate that is happening within our, within our industry and within radio. It's like, you know, there's a certain point, there's a threshold between toxic and profitable, and, and you want to you wanna be not toxic and profitable. And, and, and I find it very odd that I'm defending Savage and Michael's, or, and uh, Roger's uh, opposing him. If, I, if I'm paraphrasing you. are talking about broadcasting now, which is what we ought to be talking yeah, about. Yeah, And really. let the marketplace and determine toxic. Not you, not me, not anybody. Essentially, yeah, right. at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm, I'm at... The, the, and, and Roger and I are both in the same place, if I may speak for him. I, could, uh, and Roger, you can I believe we're out of here. time. Anyway. Uh, 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 <laughs> all right, the rep is declared we're out of time, and uh, we thank you all very much. Have a hand for the panel. Thank you.